Hello, welcome back to Twist Fashion. Today we're going to be making the second part of the uh, felt pill box. This time there's a different method. So you have your hat block, which I've covered in cling film, just to protect it a little bit more. Um, you have your hat pins and you have the um, felt hood. You could also use a piece of millinery felt, hat making felt. Um, okay, so the first thing you do is you run your um, hood under hot water, so which I'm going to do now. So the hood is now totally uh, wet from the inside and it makes it more pliable, move basically you can get it into a better shape on the block. Because this already has a bit of shape, maybe you're better off using a plain piece, but you just keep pulling. And I won't waste what I cut off later. Um, that wheel can be used for swirls, leaves, flowers, felt flowers, anything you like. See how you can stretch it over the block when it's wet? Maybe it's better to use a flat piece of felt because this is obviously already shaped the hood. But you can give it a go. Once you have a nice shape over the, pill, the hat block, you can start pinning it nice and tight. And this felt is quite thick. Put them in sideways, giving you more strength. Not straight on, because that doesn't, doesn't hold much. I've used the steam and the water to make it nice and smooth over the top of the block and then I'm pinning and pulling it around as we go. So that's all nicely stretched over the hat block and secured with pins. We're just going to let this dry and then I'll show you what we do with it next. Hello and welcome back to part two of this pillbox um, tutorial. So the felt is now dried. I'm going to take the pins out and see what it looks like. So obviously in part one we wet the felt with hot water, steaming hot water, and then used um, heat and steam to shape it over the hat block. Now if you're not happy with the amount of um, stiffness in the peel box then now is the time to so take your hat block out and we can always add so that's quite soft really um, I think I will add some stiffener inside of there. Right, so let's cut off the excess. I'm going to just cut straight down. You don't cut too far because you, you're going to bend over the edge and that's what we're going to stitch the lining to. So I'm going to go this far. I'm 
and then cut that all the way around the same width. So I hope you're enjoying my um, videos at the moment um, and learning from them. If you've not subscribed then please do and hit that notification bell because that's when it will tell you am I going too far in? Sorry. Um I can go in a little bit further. Um the notification bell will tell you obviously when I've uploaded a new video. And then you can see it straight or when I premiere a video. So basically you can get first access and ask when I premiere it, that means you can ask me questions. I'll be live and you can ask me questions um, in the comments at the same time, if that makes sense. Oh, maybe I went a bit too far in there, but never mind. Um, so that's going to fold over and then I'm going to stitch the lining onto that as a last at the last point. So now... Um, I'm happy with that. No, I'm going to add some stiffener and then I will put the hat block back on, let it dry again and then take off again. So I'm just going to add some stiffener now. So here's my stiffener and I'm just going to spread that on. Use a paintbrush but I just use my fingers. I'm just going to do that on the inside because it might show if you put it on the outside. Plus it's such thick felt. This is pre stiffened felt but I'm not happy with um, the stiffness of it so I'm just going to make it that extra bit stiffer. So I hope you're all having a nice day. Um, it's always nice to do something crafty or watch crafty videos. Um, yeah, solder. Right, so now I'm going to put that back on the hat block. And let that dry once again. 